quality of assessment is a face-to-face -face oral. Um, and I'll take you through an example of of the various topics and norms per level. Tool, um, the electronic voice to win by built onto concourse, the platform used by Notre Dame, the live work platform used by Notre Dame. Um, you see here it's Control Oral Factice, which is um, a fictitious way for students to record themselves. It's, there is one uh, recording where they uh, had the opportunity to uh, mess up, to um, understand how it works and also get graded, yet the grade isn't recorded. This is just an opportunity for them to get used to the tool before they actually get graded. Um, so we said that the first um, formative oral test was a picture prompt, mm -hmm. which you know as a regular face-to-face um, -face interval, yet you can use the tool this tool to do it. So here's the, this is a, remember this is a 101, 102 class, so this was early in the semester. Um, so here's a picture of a family and they have to describe it. So they came up with names and described their mm -hmm. family, etc. <coughs> now, the, the, the one of the nice things uh, that the students actually enjoy with this tool is that they can re-record themselves as many times as they want. Before they, before they publish it, what they do is that they record themselves, and before they publish, they can actually listen to it. As they listen to it, then they decide whether they want to re-record or publish. So some of them may record themselves many times, others may do it only once. So this was the first one, which is a picture prompt. The second one let's see, the second one I believe was we said a recitation. Okay. So the second one recitation could be uh, so to make them work on pronunciation could just be um, um, reciting a poem. Um, when you look at um, intonation, tone, rhythm. Um, or in this case here is, um, you have the directions right here, um, which have been written by my co-instructor who's right here in the room. Um, they are going to Paris with a friend this winter. Um, you are planning a tour. What are you going to do? Give three or four destinations, museums, uh, monuments, uh, different touristic attractions, and explain your interests. Indicate how um, you can get there. Uh, length of time uh, that you should be speaking, minimum of two minutes. And then you have here again an example. Bonsoir. C'est Nicolas. Cette idée, mon ami Tiffany et moi voulons voyager à Paris. Comme architecte, nous nous y intéressons à beaucoup. Le... Now in this one, I'll stop it right away because it's in French. But you can tell for those of you who speak French that since the emphasis here is more pronunciation, that they're trying to pay more attention to the what we call in French liaison, which is to uh, when you have two words next to each other and you're making one ends with a consonant, the other one starts with a vowel, and you're doing that linking. So you can hear the difference between, you would hear the difference between the previous one and this one, where it's more pronunciation and they're just reading what they have prepared. And Virginie, they're only working on one particular piece of pronunciation. They've been assigned that one. They've been assigned, so that assignment has a dual purpose. It has one. Uh, to make sure, so this was on an early chapter about direction, transportation. Okay. So first, that they have 
um, they know how to use directions in French. Mm -hmm. And then the second Secondly. purpose is pronunciation. Mm -hmm. so we but not all for pronunciation. You mentioned one particular element we, of pronunciation. We had talked in class. You, I, I couldn't really have them focus only on one since this okay. was a, a speech that they came up with. Okay. However, we had talked in class about liaisons that are very mm -hmm. important. We have talked about several elements. Okay. So I was looking for those elements. All of them. Okay. Yeah. So this was the second, and then the last one, uh, using that tool, um, the Wimba tool, was a um, pair work. So it had, they have to work in pair. Your partner and I were childhood uh, friends. You haven't seen each other for about 10 years. Uh, and all of a sudden, you bump into each other, and you're um, asking questions to each other. What, have, what has your friend done, etc. So as you see here, it says state each student's name at the beginning. It's important that they state each student's mm -hmm. name at the beginning because uh, since only one of them will register at Wimba, you see only Brigitte names appear, yet she's working with Joe on that one. So not only do we ask them to write both of their name, but also to state their name, just to avoid any confusion. Even if you have maybe 15 students, when you teach many classes, the voice sometimes is hard to find out who's who. So those are little things that you learn as you use more and more of the tool. Je m'appelle Brigitte Kefenji. Je m'appelle Joe Machuba. Yeah. Brigitte, est-ce que tu? Oui, uh, qui es-tu? C'est moi, Joe. Uh, Joe, quelle chance. Je ne t'ai pas vu depuis longtemps. Je pense que dix ans vont passer. Etc. So, <laughs> so elementary level, um, you see here they like to also play and you know put a little, put a little show. They have fun with it too. Okay. Any questions? Yes. I noticed the audio is very good on this. Mm -hmm. uh, when I used Google this semester, there was quite a difference, uh, quite a. Um, uh, variance on the, on the quality of the tone. What do you recommend to your students in order to it's use an external mic rather than, I mean, do you use a, a headset mic rather than the external one in the laptop? It's a very good point. I had the same problem, and I still have the same problem with students when the recording isn't very good. The main, um, the main thing that I tell my students is that they have to record themselves in a quiet area. A lot of students would go, um, in the dining hall or outside <laughs> or is to tell them wherever you want to do recording is fine but please let it be quiet. It's very distracting than when you have you know cars going on or you have students talking so I think that's one main fact. Um, in, as far as Mike is concerned I think I don't think this is the main issue I think the location is more of an issue. Most of the students have um, uh, laptops so usually it isn't an issue so uh, when it's two people talking, which is the case here, you hear pretty well, but then it could be tricky, so I usually ask them to make sure that they talk close. And the main point is, they have the opportunity to listen to what they recorded. So there is no reason why the recording should not be good. They can contact you, and they can listen to it, and they, if they think that it's not good, then, then they can redo it or contact you. So there's not really an excuse for them to have something that's not good, since they have all these opportunities. So this was um, to give you an example of the type of topics and genre that you can do with the tool. Now, so we redesigned syllabi at the multi-section course level, but also at the individual course level. And here's an example of a um, 275, uh, I always have a right time with the whole number, um, <laughs> syllabus in Italian. Um, let's take a look at what was done. So this is a film and culture course in Italian, um, and um, Patrick, Professor Patrick Virito was kind to lend me the syllabus so that I could show that to you today. Um, similar to um, the um, multi-section course level, um, you can see there are various opportunities for um, using the tool for formative assessment, and because of the frequency, the higher frequency, WIMBA is useful for that. So you see here the second is in February, and then the third is in March. Yet the final exam, which is not written here, but they have a final oral exam, and I will show you, um, is also a face-to-face. -face. So it, 
It depends. Um, it, 